Welcome back to the Padilla Family Homestead. Today I am showing you our plant haul, what we're starting um, the garden with, and then I will also be going over with you some of the seeds we are planning on planting this year. Um, and we're pushing our luck a little bit with some of them, but I am hoping we will be good. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you some of the stuff we've gotten. So the first thing we got is this blueberry plant. We have two different blueberry plants. Uh, the one up top was a Blu-ray blueberry. And this one is an Elliot blueberry. This one already has some blueberries on it. Yay. Um, we also got a couple of blackberry bushes that are thornless blackberries. This one is the Natchez thornless blackberry, probably butchering that. And then this one is the Arapaho blackberry. Both are thornless. We're looking for thornless raspberries as well. I have this echinacea, um, I don't know if, I mean, it's the Perpia one, but I don't know if this is medicinal as well. It's yellow, so if you know, that would be great. We had a couple of Brussels sprouts. I think we're a little late on these, but we're going for it. Some um, alyssum, sweet alyssum. We actually had a really hard time finding that. We have tons of marigolds in here. I believe this is a lemon balm. Yes, we have lemon balm, rosemary, uh, dill, some lamb's ear. This is cat grass and garden sage. And then we have a mint. I'm pretty sure that's a spearmint might be a peppermint but we have spearmint peppermint and pineapple mint that we've purchased um, let's see what we got going on here we have a cool pino, so like a not a pino a non-hot bell pepper we have sriracha peppers um, we got uh, tomatillos, green tomatillos over here. I'm going to try to read some of these. We've got black crim tomato, early girl tomato, uh, Roma tomato. And brandy wine. This is a brandy wine tomato. And I think I have one more pepper plant in here. Oh, shishito peppers. Very much excited about that. We have two lemongrass plants. We've got some parsley, basil. We got more peppers in here. We got a poblano, a jalapeno, sweet banana, another sweet banana. A yellow sweet bell pepper, a mini gypsy bell pepper, purple bell, and a red bell. Up here we had another parsley. We have regular thyme, oregano. This is spearmint, so the one back there must have been peppermint. And then catnip. We have two things of yarrow that are different colors. And uh, we have some sweet potato slips for some purple sweet potatoes we got from somebody. Two citronella plants. More marigolds. Another yarrow. This one is my sugar rush peach pepper. Um, we have lemon verbena. Two lavenders. This pineapple sage, which I'm so excited about. We have lemon thyme back there. A pineapple mint. 
and this is a mango tango um agastache and it's it's in the hitsup family very excited if you followed me from my california gardens you know i love that plant um any agastache so super excited about that we found these at harps and they were really waterlogged some of them were dying um so we let them dry out a little bit more um i did find a cabbage looper on this at the store so we have them separated out and i have to go through and see if i'm seeing any more so not over here are two purple tomatillos that my friend got off of marketplace and a lamb's ear another lamb's ear that we traded somebody and, or that they gave us um and then we were able to dig up from somebody's house some mint and lamb's ear and a few other things um i don't know how well those are going to transplant so i'm not showing those quite yet um but it was a cool a cool thing um, but that is our haul for now and then i'll bring you inside and go over some of the seeds we're planning on starting so you could see uh, that process and then on our next video you're going to see me stacking doing the green stalks building those and planting our strawberry um bare root strawberries which is a little little late in the season um, but they're doing great and also i'm um, unboxing our asparagus roots which are not planted yet um, but those and then we'll be also have a video of me doing lettuce and then tomorrow um, from the day i'm recording this tomorrow we're going to be laying out our beds and actually building our garden beds which we have the stuff over here for that and we're going to bring it down and plant it i'll actually show you where we're going to plant this so we're going to take it and build beds down there where the block is already we're going to do some beds down here and have a couple of arches and have all kinds of fun stuff. We've got plans for the beds here. Lots of cleaning out to do, lots of work to do, but we're super excited about it. This is where we decided to do our green stalks. That way it um, had wind protection, but they still get sun and we could easily water them from the deck. Plus these are going to have strawberries and lettuce. So it'll be easy picking um, for us and hopefully the chickens won't get to them. Okay, so I have my seven brews. They have decaf um, iced tea, black iced tea. It's very good. All right, so we're going to go over the seeds. But we are planning on starting. Some of these varieties may shift on how much room we have. Um, we have more marigold seeds. And I still have these from a long time ago, 2020. Um, these are the Colossal Red Gold Marigolds. I really like those. Um, we are going to do a whole variety of herbs. Um, I'm going to do Chinese chives and common chives so one of these has a white flower one of them has a purple flower i believe and common chives have a mild onion flavor and the chinese chives have the garlic flavor um so i do have dill seeds and i don't know if i'm going to do the sage now because we um bought, found sage and bought it cracker jack marigolds I have a bunch of seeds for those as well. So there, she has a lot of um, woodsy area here. And so deer and different pests and things can be an issue. So the, the marigolds are really important. Same with the um, sweet alyssum. 
So I am going to grow okra. I'm not sure. I still have to decide on the varieties. So I have this from a few years ago. That's the okra. I'm going to say it wrong. Okinawa pink from Baker Creek. And then this one doesn't have a picture, but it's a Jing orange. And then um, I got Clemson spineless and a red burgundy okra as well. So I may try to do one of each of these and see which one I prefer so we know which we want to grow again in the future. I have been enjoying fried okra, so I definitely want to be growing, be growing that. I don't think these are in order of how I want to show them, but that's okay. So I'll be doing a variety of different beets. I have the Solyndra beets, albino beets, golden beets, and the Chiogia beets. Um, we're also doing a variety of colors for the carrots. I have a cosmic purple carrot, lunar white, Kyoto red, Amarillo, Amarillo, and then we have Black Nebula, maybe. We'll see. And then we have turnips we want to grow. These I've had good success with. So this is Tokenashi. And then this one I haven't actually had yet. It's the Na Nagasaki Akari Kabu. I'm probably butchering these names. Oh, I have two of the exact same turnip. That's really funny. Apparently really wanted that. Um, rutabagas. I was going to grow the yellow. Navone yellow. Rutabagas. Um, two different mustards. And a couple different collars. Morris Heading and Georgia Southern. Are my goals there. Now, some of these, if they don't do super well because we're getting warmer, we'll plant again in the fall and do a fall crop. Let's stick with this here. So I am planning on doing radishes as well. For right now, I think what we're going to do is a couple of the Japanese wasabi radishes. Um, we'll do some purple plums. I wanted to shove in a couple of these daikon radishes because they'll be good for the loosening the soil up, aerating it, and then some Chinese red meat radishes, which are like the watermelon radishes. And then I want to get one moringa plant going. It's a dwarf moringa. It's a tree. And these are supposed to have um, priced for high protein levels. Uh, it's supposed to be like super good for protein. And then I think I have to wait for the fall for these, but I have spinach. And if we have room, I want to do a couple of my queen lime zinnias. So we have cutting flowers. And basil. Basil is like my jam. Anybody who's followed for a while. I cook with a lot of basil. I like to grow basil. So my husband likes, I call it pho, but pretty sure it's pho. Uh, Thai sweet basil is used in that. So um, I want to make sure I grow some of that. Lettuce leaf basil. Mamola basil. Um, sweet Genovese basil. And I have some more sweet basil seeds here. And then some sacred or holy basil from, this one's from Hudson Valley. Uh, this has been really helping with blood pressure and I really, really enjoy it as a tea. So I want to make sure that I grow this. And then we'll be using some of these for just growing basil. And then some of them are also going to be for companion plants. I'll put some by the tomatoes and that seems to let me know if I'm getting worms. Um, or caterpillars faster than just finding them on the plant. I'll see them on my basil hopefully first. Um, so summer is not the time to grow cilantro. 
However, I'm going to try to find some shaded spots and try some slow bolt cilantro and see if I can get away with any of it here. We will see. My guess is it's going to be a big no, but you don't know if you don't try. Um, they have an issue with gophers and moles and things like that here as well. And onions, chives, anything in that family helps deter one of those from popping up. I don't remember now. Um, so I'm going to do some red bunching onions scattered throughout. And some white bunching onions scattered throughout. We also wanted to experiment with some large sunflowers. And then um, she got a package of cutting sunflowers as well that is not in here. But I have these hoppy black dye sunflowers that are the big purple seeds. Um, the Mongolian giant sunflower. And a giant white seeded sunflower. So we'll grow a couple of the, each of those. And then um, if I can get away with kale, which I think it might be the wrong season right now. But if I can get away, get away with kale, then um, I'm going to grow the scarlet kale, the blue curled scotch kale. Uh, I have to check and see if they like dinosaur kale because I might grow that if they like it. And then ragged jack. Those are my staples for that. Um, I'm also probably going to try some Chinese pink celery. I want to say we bought a celery plant, but I didn't see it in there just now. So maybe... I missed it when I was reading them off, but I thought we bought a celery plant. Um, but I wanted to try some Chinese pink celery. I need to go into seed time and see if I can still start these now or not, or if I need to wait. And then I'd like to plant some um, plantain, and I have the purple perversion plantain. We are going to try to grow some sweet corn. Um, we picked this up at a local nursery. It was honey and cream sweet corn. Uh, so we're going to try some of that. And then um, we may also try some glass gem. This is supposed to be okay as a popcorn and as a, um, a corn that you, I don't know if it's dent or uh, which style for sure, but you can use it as flour. So we're looking forward to trying that if we can. We'll do those at different times. And then we're going to grow some Swiss chard. I have another Swiss chard. We're going to have um, some German chamomile and some Zloty Land chamomile. This is like my favorite. If we have room, I'm going to try to grow my favorite um agastache i'm gonna do the navajo sunset if we don't have room then i'll just wait till next year for that and we're gonna do some tatsoi i have bok choy both the milk and the purple lady we may grow the toothache plant because that's just fun um i may do hey look at that there's yellow in there So maybe that'll be fine. Didn't even pay attention that I had a mix and there is yellow in there and this is used for medicinal purposes. So maybe we'll be set. That would be great. Um, we, if we have some room, we're going to try to do some safflower as well. And then um, this is probably the wrong season for it right now. So I might try these next spring is the white dandelion. I don't know. I may try to do a few. Um, but this, maybe I'll put these in the bottom of the one green stack by the green stock by the strawberries. I have a, I have five slots left that I may be able to put that in. And then we're going to get into more flowers here. Borage. Um, I really want some nasturtium. So I have a few varieties here that I've done before. I have the Jewel Peach, the Bloody Mary, Black Velvet, and the Whirly Bird um, Rose Nasturtium. I love Nasturtium on my 
um, the nasturtium flowers on my salad, but the nasturtium petals on my focaccia. Love it. Um, we're also going to do calendula. So I have snow princess and strawberry blonde out. I may do another color as well. I don't think I have any more out though. I'm making sure these aren't all mixed in. All right. So the next, the next selection of seeds are still kind of up in the air depending on what what we're doing here we're still trying to figure out the squash situation so we would like to grow these but this may change um so spaghetti squash honey nut squash jack be little pumpkins long island cheese pumpkin Delicata winter squash and acorn squash. New England sugar pie squash. And my friend really wants a pumpkin patch for carving pumpkins. So that would be the Connecticut uh, field pumpkin. Um, if we can, that's, these are what we're trying to figure out what we have space for exactly. Because that's a lot of squash. So we're going to figure that out. Um, summer squash. If. I can, I want to do one lemon, uh, a zucchini, patty pan, the Ron Denise, and then the early prolific straight neck, no picture on that one, and then I have the honey boat delicate also. So I have to figure out what we're doing. That's a lot of squash, like I said, so we have to figure it out. Um, cucumbers, we are going to try a few different ones, I think. Uh, we have to decide for sure. But I have miniature white, uh, dark cucumbers. The lemon cucumbers and then the Yamato extra long cucumbers and for melons um, we have the golden Jenny melon Kajari melon and a sugar baby bush watermelon so these vines only about three and a half feet and yield 10 pound fruits so this may be good option for us with small space and I think that's I think those are all the seeds I have so that's kind of what we're planning right now um most of these are going to be direct sowed at this time and so it's going to be we're going to do what we can um some of these flowers may not make it um and then I'll be starting a bunch of stuff for seed for fall and for um, for fall and for uh, to go over winter and then next spring as well. I'm going to get all of these put away in my baggie. This is what I have set aside that we're supposed to be planting. Um, so as you can tell, it's a whole lot of plants, a whole lot of fun that we're planning on having. So make sure you stay tuned with us because those beds are being built and we will be planting out a bunch of stuff soon. Um, and figuring out spacing and just having fun and growing what we can and the spaces that we're going to be adding. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for joining. I hope you like these. If you had success with any of these um, or ones like the do not do this in Arkansas or don't even bother trying those right now, wait. Let me know. Um, this is a whole new zone. So we're in 7A, I believe. Um, in no the northwest corner of Arkansas. So if you are familiar with this area um, and have certain things that you uh, have suggestions on, I would love to hear it. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one.